Good afternoon, my name is Mike Tong, and uh, today marks one year anniversary of passing of a friend of mine and one of the most uh, celebrated sport martial art fighters of all time, uh, of course, talk, Gerald Awesome Dawson. Um, I competed against him uh, quite a bit in the uh, 90s, um, starting out, of course, he was always heavyweight. Um, I started out as light heavyweight, um, met him in grands a couple of times, and then, of course, moved up into heavyweight division with him. And um, the man is, or was, amazing. Just incredible martial artist. Um, as time went on and my sons became teens uh, coming up, um, I was so honored that Gerald uh, actually chose my oldest son, uh, Devin to be a member of uh, his team, Team Mass Mall, some of the best fighters in the country. And um, I'm just uh, amazed at the time that he actually spent helping to groom uh, my youngest son, Jordan, who had just come into Black Belt Division. And, and Gerald took an extra special liking to Jordan and really helped him uh, feel welcome, you know, being around so many great martial artists. And uh, it was a great experience. Um, what I want to do today is I wanted to do a drill uh, of something that Gerald used to do that really uh, amazed me. Um, a lot of you guys don't know about Gerald's kicking. Uh, Gerald's got amazing, amazing kicks. Uh, kicks like a lightweight and middleweight. But um, he's also extremely intelligent. Um, he is a scientist of the arts. And one of the things that I, I liked... Um, uh, Gerald's hand fakes. Okay, I like when when Gerald would get you looking at the lead hand uh, get here, moving around, give you a big fake, and then punch. Okay, it was one of the, the best things that I enjoyed. Most people are enamored by his back fist, but uh, when you're fighting a guy that's big, that's as big as he he was, and you see him move and get a good fake here. That was one of the things I love to watch him do. Um, in doing this. What happens is you basically are breaking your opponent's rhythm. I talk about that quite a bit. It is a valuable tool for all martial artists to have is to know that it, the, the more smooth and the more relaxed your bounce is, after a while, it starts to lull your opponent, all right? So one of two things can happen. Here, if it lulls your opponent and you keep doing it over and over again, eventually they're going to stop and they're going to go ahead and commit. All right, so the other thing we have to worry about is that we get in such a rhythm of moving that we forget to attack. It's almost like you and your opponent are basically hypnotizing each other. So as I bounce, then punch. I've done similar videos to this before, but Gerald Dawson is, is, a, is, a, is beautiful to watch. The bouncing around, fake, then shoot the technique. Broken rhythm again. Okay, that short stop usually will make your opponent match what you do. The other thing, of course, is Joe's back fist. Probably one of the most educated back fists that I've ever seen. Um, one of the drills that I do to help with my back fist is starting a squatting position. Okay, now of course we're not going to fight this low. But what this does is it gives me the push forward to throw my back fist. So, I don't want to be too close to you. I want to be in a position where when I push off, I have to really commit. So I'm going to throw a couple of those from my stance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, give you a little tip. When you're practicing, the idea is that you don't want to stand up and commit the back fist. It's going to be too slow. You risk getting hit with the defensive side kick. The idea is from that position is you want to commit almost like a front stance. All right. If you watch uh, still, still, still footage of blitzers, a lot of times you'll catch them in these beautiful. Positions like front stance with the reverse punch. So the idea on your drill is not to come all the way up and then throw the punch. 
The idea is that when you're coming up, you're going to commit simultaneously. When you do so, if you watch me in slow motion, notice how my body is. If my opponent is trying to throw the D side, I haven't committed with my body. When you commit with your body is when you run into the kick. What I've done is I've elongated my body by leaning, almost looks like here, I'm in a front stance. So I turn from here into the back fist, here into the back fist. So once again today marks one year that uh, Gerald has uh, been gone. Um, I'm going to have a watch party. I'm going to go up on YouTube and watch all the fights that I can find my old friend. I would recommend that you all do the same thing. Um, when you're watching high level martial artists, when you're watching anyone do anything high level, it should motivate you to want to be at a level that they're at. I know maybe you may not look exactly like they do, but that motivation should actually make you work a little bit harder. All right, so as always, thank you so much for checking in today on this very difficult day. Once again, you punch in Gerald Dawson on your Google search and there's a ton of material that you guys can watch on there and I guarantee you're gonna be amazed. Thanks for joining me again and have a great day.